Hey friends, what's going on? This is David Potts with Song Notes, and quick lesson today where I'll show you how to play The Good Side by Troy Sivan. So this is a brand new song. It just came out a few days ago. It only uses four chords in the same order for the entire song. So I'm going to dive right on in. I'm going to do a version with the capo in the second fret, and I'm doing that because that's how the guitarist plays the song on the album version, and it lets you do cool things with the voicing of the song. So if you don't have a capo, though, I will do a no capo version, skip ahead a little bit, and you'll get to that. But let's dive right on in. Okay, so the four chords you need are quite simply C, regular C chord, E minor, and then an F and a G, okay? Now those are gonna be the tricky ones, but instead of doing the regular and difficult F, we're actually gonna simplify things a bit. What I like to do is really put my fingers on the middle four strings here. So third fret, third fret, second fret, first fret, okay? And you really wanna leave the high E string open. Hear that open sound? Um, that's something you hear in the album version and actually for every chord that's played you hear this note droning So that's kind of an important like characteristic of this song, right? So if you play those five strings You get this sound right and if you want to and are able to put your thumb sort of around the, the Sort of neck of the guitar here and push the low E string down on the first fret You can do that if you want totally optional and if you want a simplified version of this simply do third second first open thinnest four strings, okay? So that's gonna be your F chord. And now for the G, what I recommend doing is whatever you did for the F, simply slide it up two frets, okay? So I do this third, fifth, fifth, fourth, third, open, okay? And again, if you just did the middle four strings, that would be fifth, fifth, fourth, third, open. Or you could just do the thinnest four strings. Fifth, fourth, third, open, okay? That's gonna be your G chord. And again, the, the real key of all these chords is you want this high E string to be ringing through, through all of them. So listen. You hear it there, E minor. You hear it there, the F. And then the G. And I recommend listening to the album version of the song. You can kind of hear that note. It's a really sort of uh, cool characteristic, like I said. So those are the four chords you'll need, right? So for each chord, we're gonna have four groups of three counts. So that would be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And the simplest strum you can do is all down strums like this, right? And you wanna accent on that one count. But if you really wanna get closer to the uh, album strumming, you would do a down, up, 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 down. For each chord, you do this little sequence four times. To the F, down, up, 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 down. Now, what I like to do is add one more strum in there, which is a down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Totally not required. So in the quick tip I'll say with the strumming is try to keep that strumming hand moving. You know, one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three. My right hand is sort of kind of always moving and really what's changing is whether or not I strike the strings. So that's all you need for the chords and for the strumming and then you just use that for the entire song. So the verse would sound like this. I've got And likewise for the chorus, which sounds like this. So with that, you'll be good for the entire song. Now, if you want to do the no capo version, it would look like this. First, let's get rid of that capo. Okay, no capo. Now, here the chords become this. Instead of a C, we have a D. And instead of an E minor, we have an F sharp minor. Okay, this is a bar chord. Second, fourth, fourth, second, second, second. And then we would have a G and an A normally. Okay? So for the G chord, I recommend doing a third muted fifth string, open, 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 and then second on the high E string. 
And the reason for this is there's a sound that you hear in this album where you hear this note played for all the chords, okay? So we want to get that note for the G chord, and then for the A, we're going to basically do open, second, 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 second. Okay, so the four chords then, I'll play them, but notice how this note is played for all of the chords, okay? That's the D, here's the F sharp minor, and here's the G, and then the A. And when you play it uh, together in the song, you sort of hear what you hear in the album version again, which is that note droning on. All right, now for strumming, you have three options. If you really want to keep things simple, simply do a down, 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 every three counts. So down, two, three, down. That's really, really elementary, but if you want to take it a step further, I would do a down, up, 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 which makes things sound a bit more full, and you know, like there's more going on. I've got the good side of you, cast it out into the blue. All right, so with that, you have all you need to know to play this song. Thank you very much for watching, and make sure you subscribe to this channel if you like this lesson and you want to see some of my other stuff. I'm putting out new lessons all the time. So uh, thanks very much for watching. Remember, playsongnotes.com is where you can find the notes and tabs for this lesson, and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.